So we're interested in studying kidney cancer, and the reason being is that patients with this type of cancer have very few or limited treatment options available to them. However, we do know from clinical experiences is that their immune system or cells within the blood are able to destroy the cancer cells if they're functioning properly. So what we are interested in studying is these defects or these changes in these immune cells that prevent them from killing off the cancer cells. Being selected for the Medical Innovators Award is a great honor to me because it shows recognition for the work that we've been doing and our attempts to improve the quality of life for these patients. What this allows us to do is to define for the public is how this work is, is relevant and significant and what it can do for the treatment of, of kidney cancer patients in this area there was a higher incidence of renal cell or kidney cancer within Sangamon County. And not only was this incidence higher, but what they noticed is that patients were being diagnosed at a younger age. And this was predominantly affecting males within our local community. So what we were interested in doing is determining why is this there an increased incidence of kidney cancer, and particularly why are these patients developing this type of cancer at a much younger age. And what we ended up finding out was that there are modifications or changes within their immune cells, particularly when they get into the kidney tumor. And when they get into these tumors, these changes that occur are actually causing these immune cells to promote the growth of the tumor rather than to reduce or destroy it. So this project is innovative because never before has anyone looked at immune cell function within these types of tumors. So people have begun to look at this as a way of manipulating or modifying the immune system so that you can kill off cancer cells. But studies like this have never been done with kidney cancer. So this would be the first time that we're able to identify and try to reverse these changes in these immune cells.